This is Tom Dillon, The Lifetime Liberal, and today is Saturday, February 20th, 2021. Uh, the title of this rant is, Wow, Another Rich White Dude in Power Dissing a Woman Person of Color. Uh, so supposedly the most conservative Democrat in the Senate right now, Senator Joe Manchin of the state of West Virginia, indicated yesterday that uh, he was not going to vote uh, for the confirmation of a lady by the name of Neera Tandon uh, to be head of the Office of Management and Budget. So, you know, 30 or 40 years ago, uh, even, even senators from the opposite party usually gave the cabinet officials a pass because that's what the president wanted. Obviously, that hasn't been happening probably since around Reagan. And uh, with the Senate being 50-50, you need all 50 of the, <laughs> the Democrats to go. And... Uh, that there's a couple of things about this is, is, is number one, uh, you would think that all the Democrats would be on board with, with this. Uh, and then number two, you'd think that someone would have a good reason. And now, uh, Neera Tandem has been, um, has worked in the Bill Clinton administration. She was on uh, the campaign for both Barack Obama and Hillary in 2008 and, and Hillary's in 2016. And let's just say she knows how to fight the trench, trench, trench warfare quite a bit. She knows how to get in there. She is unapologetic about her feelings, and she has expressed them quite a bit. Now, the Republicans, none of them want her in there. They don't want any of these people in there, and none of them are voting, very few of them are voting for any uh, of the cabinet officials. Uh, and, and she is exceptionally well qualified. And the biggest thing that the Republicans can say about her is that she has given some of them a lot of mean tweets. Uh, well, <laughs> that's coming really rich, coming from the Republicans, considering what their president did for those four years in office and uh, before he got in there. Uh, and that's, but that's basically all the Republicans have. And Joe Manchin came out with that yesterday, basically saying that in the interest of bipartisanship, oh my God, we can't have this exceptionally qualified woman, person of color, in the Office of Management Budget because she had some mean tweets against some of my fellows. We well, you know she had mean tweets against Bernie people too. <laughs> uh, and the thing is, I looked around it, in obscure areas to find out, did he, what, where is his beef? What, you know, what's he angling for? Meaning Joe Manchin, what does he want out of this thing? Why is he doing this? You know, and there's no real, there's no, I haven't seen anything that indicates that he has some type of beef with her and that he's getting something out of it. Uh, and so I'm, here I am saying, hey, you know, here he is dissing a woman person of color uh, because she had mean tweets. Gosh, that is, I just can't believe that that's, that's the way it's going. Now, the thing that really gets me is that it has been pointed out that Joe Manchin voted for the exceptional racist Jeff Sessions uh, to be Attorney General. So Jeff Sessions in the late 80s, or maybe it was uh, at the end of the Reagan administration or early in the Bush administration, was nominated to be a federal judge. And even the Senate back then didn't confirm him because he was such a racist. Uh, he also voted for Bill Barr to be Attorney General. And Bill Barr, at the end of the Bush administration, uh, made sure that seven uh, indicted officials, Oliver North, uh, I know that Cap Weinberger was another one who was Secretary of Defense uh, when, he, when he was indicted. Uh, he made sure that they got pardoned. And so we knew who Bill Barr was. And Joe Manchin voted for Bill Barr to be uh, Attorney General. So what's, what's the thing here? And, you know, again, another rich white dude, Joe Manchin's worth about $7 million, has is upset at her tweets. And, you know, again, it's kind of, get, it, it, even though this is a Republican thing, it's kind of like, hey, he's playing the plantation doc doctrine. She's uh, a little too uppity for him, and he's got to put her in her place. But I don't know where this is going to go. Joe uh, Biden has basically, the president has basically said, hey, She's still my, she's still, I still want her here. So either uh, you're going to have to get a couple, uh, a one or two Republicans to cross over. And if you have to do that, there are a couple that may do that, uh, is you're going to have to give them something in return. 
And, you know, right now with the razor thin margin that Joe has, he needs to get every Democrat on board. I've said before, you know, you're in the big time now, Joe. You know, this is the time that you got to play ball and you have to play for the team. Your personal preferences must be put aside. Uh, 